not good at this. So how'd it go with the loan? Honestly, not great. They said they need my parents to co-sign my loan, and I can't tell them what happened. So what are you gonna do? Oh, I have an idea. My cousin got a bunch of money when she was hit by a city bus. Do that. Actually, I found oh my a God. super high-paying second job. <laughs> Find I someone to sue work. so you I'm can I'm typing pay. up the closed captioning for a reality show called Sex Paradise, Australia. That's a job? It sure is. All I have to do is watch an episode, listen very closely, and type up what they're saying, and the noises they make in the pleasure hut for 20 freaking oh. bucks an hour. That's disgusting. How many episodes are they paying you for? It's 300 episodes a season. So if I can find time to transcribe for at least 50 hours a week on top of my schoolwork and my SIPS job, my finances will be totally taken care of. That's too oh much. Hey, you should That's just tell your mom what happened and have her co-sign a loan. No, I'm gonna go with my thing. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she's just like not gonna tell her parents but that loan is a lot of like a lot of money for a lot of years but... you're cool mm -hmm. okay and you're pretty i hope she really like what she's studying but that, that would suck <laughs> to I don't pay for something going you going don't on. like i guess i'm feeling lost okay well what do you want to do with your life i don't know what about you well, I actually have a very detailed 10-year plan that will hopefully lead me into starting my own hedge fund that focuses on impact investing. So I'll basically be helping people while getting very, very rich. That's exactly what I'm talking huh? about. I feel like I'm the only person in college who doesn't have their whole life already figured out. It kind of sucks. Oh, well, honey, who has their life figured figure out? I mean, I don't smart. think a lot of people do. Whatever you put your mind to, you're going to kill it. Thank you. Unless it's water polo. I knew you were gonna do yeah. that. Yeah, you're not good at that. Okay, there's so much snow already. Are we sure this is safe? Like, do people get boob frostbite? I don't think so, but it's definitely worth a Google. Okay, so the snow run ends at Frat Row, where all the frats will be hosting big parties. And since Theta's out, I did some comprehensive Instagram stalking to figure out the next best option. And? It is definitely a mega pie. Their guys are for sure the hottest if anyone wants to check. Is that why my printer is out of ink? It's 2022, why do you even oh have my a God. printer? This is on you. <laughs> As I was saying, a mega pie is hosting a huge winter underland party. It is gonna be lit, and we're all going. Not me. I have to stay home and do some closed captioning. Are you sure? Yeah, I think this is gonna be my new normal for a while. All right. Oh. We gotta go, ladies. Okay, we're gonna wait. <laughs> okay. Can I say that all three of us look so fucking hot right now and that this is gonna be one of the best nights of our lives? I love that it's, it's winter because the other time it was summer or spring. I know. What the fuck is she saying? To dump Braxton. And now she deals with the consequences. You know, it's like a game, right? But it's also like funny, you know? And I'm definitely playing the same song. Oh my god, are you serious? I think God she damn it. it. Can you please keep it down? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Asshole! Oh my God! Oh my God! She can't work with that noise. <laughs> oh, my eyeballs are cold. Oh, yeah. same. Hey! Oh God! <laughs> The party, the party's so exciting. I don't think I can do that job. Drunk Australian people are so hard to understand. Especially with our neighbor having sex so loud. Well, you don't have to fix all your problems tonight, yeah. but there is one thing you do have to do. Exactly. Take off that coat. Let us see those granny panties. Huh? <laughs> oh, my God. Damn. Underneath all those unstylish clothes, you're like hot. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Congrats on the underwear glow up, girl. Oh, my God. Everybody run. Oh, my God, later. Come on. Two, one, trip, and go. What the hell? They're so weird. Fuck Theta, Omega Pi. Fuck Theta, Omega Pi is where it's at. And my Wi Fi sucks. Fuck Theta, Omega Pi is where it's at. 
Okay, I'm sorry about the quality. It's going to be a different, a lower quality wood. I have never seen this many hot shirtless men in one oh, place. I know, I'm taking with my shots, brain. With my brain for later. Same. Except I also took a couple pictures on my phone. Oh, see that oh my god, Val, that's not okay. Every single one of the dick shapes. Call me on the right, got a big old toddler arm in his boxer briefs. Lila, mm -hmm. would you ever be interested in writing a listicle about dick shapes for my comedy magazine? Well, I don't know what the fuck a listicle is, but hell yes, bitch. Let's oh do my it. god! <laughs> she is funny. I think she could work like that for them. Oh my gosh, she's seen a hot check. Hey, I'm Sarah. Hey, I'm Kimberly. This is Layton. Cool. <laughs> you want to dance? <laughs> um, I'm actually just dancing with my friend right now. Okay. I was actually gonna go to the bathroom, so oh my I'm God. gonna go do that. Kimberly, she so, uh, she she doesn't uh, want to do this in, in front of everyone. Uh, tequila? Mm, horrible. Calm <laughs> down. No, let me do it for you. Open your mouth. Oh my God. Um, actually, I'm good. I'm good. I'm sorry, but I only drink top shelf. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, everyone's watching, so she's like, I can't do this. Yeah. Shit. My boobs Later. popping out? No, you're good. Just trying to make awesome I mean, business. you're in college. Your friend oh. was out there. So she, she, needs to, she needs to, she needs to tell Bella. Oh, shit. And, Look at him holding that beer. Oh, uh, with me at some point. Yeah. Yeah, now I kind of get with that. They're very good. They're very Hi, it's Jackson, right? Yeah. Well, I'm Kimberly. My room is right next to yours. Cool. It's actually not cool because you've been in Essex for like three days and you're already having the loudest, most performative sex in the world. For your information, some of the people at this school have some really important work to do. And that's hard when you're, you know, grunting your head off going like, uh, 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 on the other side of some very, very thin drywall, yes. okay? So you done? Yeah, I think so. Well, just so you know, it actually kind of sucks sharing a wall with you too. What the hell ass TV show have you been watching so loudly? It's called Sex Paradise Australia. I didn't know you could hear it. Oh, I, I can. Oh my god. Let me see your phone. What is he doing? I've already hit my data cap for the month, so don't go on YouTube. Here, now you have my number. Just shoot me a text if anything on my side of the wall gets too loud. Okay. Well, yes, that's nice. Uh, yes, bitch. <laughs> But, I mean, she should wear headphones when she's working on that to oh, listen man. better. The thing is, she really doesn't have anything besides soccer, so I don't really know what to say. Huh? Oh my gosh, Ooh, she's right let's behind go. you. That's mine, that's all me. Run it back, run it back. She's right behind you, too. Hey, you good? Yeah, of course I am. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. I just threw up in a trophy. Who wants another shot? Hey, whoa, whoa, you are way too wasted to be here. I think I gotta take you home. No, 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 no. I'm gonna text you later. Uh -huh. Say goodbye, champ. It's time to go, time to go. Uh, it tastes like uh, someone puked in my mouth. Did you guys have fun tonight? In my mouth. Yeah, we did. Thanks for asking. Great. Because it'll be the last party you'll ever go to. Dude, what is your problem? Oh, seriously, who died and made you king of all the frats? You're Athena. These are the girls I was telling you about, the ones who narked on us. We're a liability, bro. A liability. More like likeability. We're a damn pleasure to have around. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Y'all need to get the fuck out. Oh my god. They're so annoying. What the hell? We're getting nipple frostbite. Fuck. They're so annoying. What the fuck? Who the hell do they think they are? Barring the fact that we got banned from frats last night, I still think we had a really fun time. We can't really get climate refugees' phone number. For emergency. Yes. <laughs> Don't you, Layton, did you chat up any hotties? Fine. You're too classy to kiss and tell, I guess. Is she going to tell them? Uh, actually, there is something that I've been meaning to tell you guys. I'm gay. <laughs> wow, Layton, that's, that's awesome. awesome. Should we hug? I feel like we should hug. I don't know. We don't. We don't need to hug. Oh, wait, that's so cool. And I, I, I'm so shocked. I mean, I have no idea. <laughs> oh my I guess God, it's like my gaydar is way off or something. I'm really already knew, didn't yeah, she? She's, uh -huh. <laughs> she's so bad at lying. She's been a really good friend about it, though. She even tried to get me alone with a girl at the party last night. Oh my God, the girl I saw you talking to. She was so hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bye. 
Yeah, but then, then I, I like freaked out and got weird and she's probably not interested anymore, so. No way! Yeah. If you DM'd her right now, I promise you it would be back on. Now. Message her. Do it. Uh-huh. Slide, slide in. Slide All right, in. fine. Then I'll do it. <laughs> okay. She's going to get weird about it. like that because she's so vulnerable and it's not like she's all the time so it's really cute it. to see her like that i just wanted to say thank you for your advice i found another super funny writer who i think is gonna be great so it really helped give her a kiss you came here at 7 45 just for that give her a kiss yeah just that she's gonna kiss him she's gonna kiss him oh god Oh, she just took his glasses off. I mean, like, no, dude. I cannot see without my glasses. <laughs> oh, my God. What an episode, guys. Okay, it was so cool. I really liked it because I really love seeing them back together again. And, well, obviously, I love that Leighton finally told them that she's gay because I really was waiting for that moment of, like, her telling her and being vulnerable to all of them about it. About it. And then being cool about it and being like, okay, just tell that girl you like her like just come on just shut her up uh so yeah i love that they are gonna be there for her in that sense now and and not be like pushing her into guys <laughs> all the time but i think she's still you know afraid to show herself in front of everyone um so yeah i'm glad at least that now everyone knows so she may be more calm about it but i don't know how she's gonna be around everyone if she's gonna tell everyone if she's gonna be okay with uh dating or kissing someone in front of everyone um i don't know but i'm really really happy she told them and kimberly oh gosh i hope she can find a way to get money but that loan dude that's a lot of money for a long time but i mean i get it but it is it is a lot of money for a long time here as i said you you have to pay it after you you graduate after you finish your career like i'm about to become an architect and you know, i still have two more things to deliver an exam and my thesis and after that i become a professional and i still have to pay the professional box but um i think it's, it's not right away that you have to pay for it and i don't know until what age it is um but if you don't uh become like if you don't do the job you graduated for like if i i become an actor but i don't um i don't act my profession i don't know how to say that but like i don't act my profession as an architect like i don't i don't work as that i don't have to pay the professional box i can say i'm not doing architecture work and i don't have to pay for it so it depends because in that case if you ask for a loan you still have to pay it even if you finish your career or even if you don't so that's a lot and it's fucked up that you that's it. like it's a lot of money for a long time even if you're not sure what you want to do and even if you don't work as a thing you got your career for i think i said that wrong um so yeah i don't know for kimberly what i want her to do like obviously i want her to have the money to pay the school but i also don't want her to ask for a loan because that's a lot of money but yeah um and then with bella <laughs> i love that she finally kissed this guy because he's He's really nice and he's really helping her so um i think she's realizing she likes him so i really like that i'm interested because she's he's not we would think he's not the guy bella goes for usually right so i'm interested like to see how that develops and keeps going so yeah and i hope whitney can find something to do because <laughs> she just has soccer and she kind of heard her boyfriend said that she only has soccer and that kind of hurt her but you know she needs to find something else to do so i don't know what she's going to do we'll see if she finds something she likes and she's good at as well so i can't wait to see that but i really like this first episode i just hope they can go to parties again at some point because if not i don't know what they're gonna do because they're party people so yeah i just really like this episode and can't not wait to keep watching more so i just want to say thank you so much for watching this guys i truly hope you liked it if you did give me a thumbs up subscribe follow me on my patreon go check my patreon out i'll be leaving it on the description below and just comment down below what you saw that's it guys hope you liked it and see you on the next one bye guys